So where are movies made generally? Huh? And you automatic, you're going to say Hollywood. What about New Mexico? What about uh, Georgia? What about British Columbia, Canada? They're all huge in the film business. Features and documentaries and commercials. Why aren't we? That's one of the reasons why I wanted you to meet and let me introduce you to Randy Murray, Randy Murray Productions. And you know, most of the time, I'm talking to somebody that I just met. <laughs> but I think we met 160 years ago. We do go back a bit. <laughs> when you took over the Channel 5 building on First Avenue, the first television station was there uh, next to the Westwood Ho Hotel, and now it's Randy Murray Productions doing all kinds of things. Yeah, it's it's a we call it First Studio, and it is uh, filled with creative companies, film companies, radio companies, uh, audio production companies, still photographers, all creative people in the industry uh, doing what you did in that same building, you know, uh, years ago. Well, probably the, what they're doing now is done with a little more dignity than Wallace and Landbo and I did, uh, because we were Unfortunately going to Unfortunately so. <laughs> you have this consortium of creative people, but you also are doing something that used to be in Arizona and then wasn't for a long time, and that is you're making films, you're participating in the making of films. Why isn't it still an important industry in Arizona? Well, you know, it's funny because it, it is an important industry in Arizona still, and, and you know, there are lots of little companies like my wife's and I's uh, company that's doing very well, uh, but unfortunately we're having to shoot in, you know, in Georgia or in L.A. or Washington, Atlanta Oregon. Is like the Hollywood of the South. Oh, it's amazing, and, and when you go there, the the studios are they're just amazing, and and the income that's coming to that state is is phenomenal, and it's coming because of uh, the the state is film friendly. And, so George is making big bucks. Big bucks. New Mexico is uh, making big bucks. Canada is making big. Canada is New Mexico. Big. Number yeah. of states that are kind of unlikely when it comes to movie scenery and sets outside. Uh, and location shooting, but we aren't anymore. Why? Because the industry shifted to an incentive-based industry, and and you know it's not something I'm happy about or thrilled about, but it is a reality, and that's what the business model is now. And, a state, a state uh, tempts the the filmmaker to come in with. Uh, goodies. Right, much like uh, Arizona did to Apple or to Intel and, and other companies. We, we provide them with an incentive to get started. It, the math works really well. You, you know, you put up a little in the front, they come, they spend the money, it, it has a residual effect, and the taxpayer gets more in return than they invested. There's a real profit factor for the state. It is a real profit factor for the state. It, it is The math really works really great in the film industry for then the taxpayers. Then why don't we have it like we used we to? We have a philosophical... John Ford and the Westerns. Yeah, we have this incredible history of filming in Arizona. This was the back lot for Hollywood, and, and it almost became Hollywood. But it, we have this wonderful history, and it ended when we... When the industry shifted to incentive-based business, we did not go along uh, in a way that other states did. And uh, at one point, we even said, we're not even, we don't even want you here. We, they literally said, we don't want any film people here. You guys Trash. are Hollywood liberals. We don't want you here. Trash, get out of here. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, th that may change, too, because they're rethinking it in the state legislature, aren't they? They are. And, you know, um, it's very exciting. The studios really want to come to Arizona. They really want Want to, We're right uh, next door. We're right next door. They need our help. They need our landscapes. They need our people. They need. I mean, Arizona is one of the most fabulous places to shoot. I, I, I've done uh, TV specials about Boston here. I did. I did the Boston bombing movie here. You know, uh, I did. Uh, I filmed for Moscow. I filmed for Siberia. Well, for New have, York, Los Angeles. You, you have uh, the BBC calling you about yes. location.
nations. Unbelievable the stuff I, I we're able to do I want some place here. that looks like Victoria, British Columbia, but we don't want to go to Victoria. Where do you have it in Scottsdale? And you find a place. We do. You, you know, you, you run up to Flagstaff and you have these amazing locations. And then, you know, two hours later, you're in the Saguaro Forest. Uh, it's really, really a great place to, to shoot. And Hollywood wants to come here. They want, and they want to bring billions of dollars here and, and they want are, to bring them tomorrow and there are new studios going up smaller studios right that's like my studio uh, it's small you know we're talking about the local business that kind of stuff that's a that's a small place these guys want to build huge back lot sound stages one over on the reservation uh, oh, in Scottsdale yeah. one on the west side and we're talking about you were talking about, you know, major players, you know, okay. Sony Pictures, Universal. These are, these are, this is night and day from what we have in town or we're planning to build to what it could potentially be. When you look at Georgia, I mean, you have to drive like 40 minutes to get from one side of the lot to the other side. Wow. That's what they want to build here. You've heard this phrase, we're out of time, but can you do a short version of what you alluded to when you said, we almost became Hollywood when, when those movie makers came? Yeah, so the story goes that they were coming east, or coming from the east to the west to find a, a place to do movies, and they got off the train in Flagstaff and said this is, you know, they targeted Flagstaff, uh, but they got off the train and there was snow on the ground, they went back on the train and we ended up in Hollywood, and it was that close. But movies still came. You know, uh, we were talking, the, the very first hotel built in Sedona was to house crew. Uh, and that... Yeah. And you know, and that's and and Merv Griffin, Dick Van Dyke built facilities here. And it's profitable. Here. It's a tremendous boon for tourism, and. It's also kind of exciting having movies made down the street. And you know what? He does that anyway. <laughs> and has always done it. Under the name Randy Murray Productions, you may recognize the building on First Avenue with the three really unusual looking people in the mural. <laughs> this is Fab McMahon. <laughs>